hello queens and welcome back yes i am filming a second video today i'm feeling good in today's video we are talking about crystals and how to use them y'all yay so this is my second time filming this video i filmed it the first time but whew child i would have been here all day long with that video so i never released it you guys so yes today's video is talking about crystals and how to use them as you guys see in a lot of my videos i am always wearing a crystal and my favorite one that you guys see me wearing here today is this citrine this is my bae this is my love right here oh my gosh i love citrine y'all love peace joy and abundance yes honey and prosperity so i'm about that life so first of all before i go any further into this video please make sure that you are subscribed down below yes please join the community join our growing queendom yes i want to get to know you i want you to continue to come back and then also to make sure that your notifications are turned on down below as well so you can be notified when i upload new content over here but that's all what you're gonna know baby so make sure your notifications are on okay so first things first is where do you even start when it comes to this whole crystal game i know it just seems like everyone's into crystals and it's like a whole bad thing going on now and everything but honestly and truly i've known about crystals since i was a child and i mean even when we were moving here from california to florida um growing up we stopped at several crystal shops so i'm not new to this <laughs> you know it's just that i'm able to understand a lot better now that i'm older in my adult life so the first place to start and i would highly recommend where to start um is with your zodiac sign a lot of people are always wondering like okay when you start using crystals like where do you start start with your zodiac sign that is one of the greatest ways to start because one everyone knows their zodiac okay so mine is i'm a taurus i'm a bull so everyone knows or typically says that we're stubborn we're bullheaded we don't like to move we like to do things in our own time we're very methodical and so on and so forth so yes do your research and you will learn more about your sign and how a lot of your personality actually does play a part with your zodiac sign and a lot of it too is not just your sun sign which is the one that everyone knows naturally when you're born but it's also your ascending sign as well so i am a taurus capricorn so i can be stubborn just by being a damn bull and i can be stubborn just by being a damn goat how did that happen i don't know <laughs> So yeah, start with your zodiac sign because your zodiacs are a great indicator as to what stones work best. Stones or crystals, I should say. You're going to hear me using that interchange with throughout this video. Work best for you and your sign. So I know for me, my birthstone is actually emeralds. I love emeralds. Growing up, I actually had a few emerald gold jewelry pieces that I wish I would have kept now. But that's okay. But yes, mine is emerald. And I love emerald. Emerald's all about just prosperity, love, grounding, um, abundance. Um, just really just keeping you balanced. And for me, um, I like a whole lot of crystals. So you guys see me wear a few of them interchangeably. But a lot of them I like to actually carry with me. So again, like I stated, the first place to start would be with your zodiac sign. And usually, too, it's more than just one actual stone or crystal that actually correlates to each zodiac sign. So do your further research because then you'll be able to really understand as to why those specific stones and crystals are associated with that particular sign i know with me that some of the stones work with taurus because of how um, we like to stay grounded we're an earth sign at that too so certain stones work better for certain zodiac signs again because depending on if you're earth water fire or wind that all plays a part as well so start with your zodiac another one like i said is to do your research um there are plenty of books sites people on social media who specialize in mythology zodiacs astrology all of that stuff the metaphysical everything and can really give you a lot more detail as to you know crystals stones how to use them how to cleanse them how to balance them and actually how to wear them how to place them and again which ones work best with which zodiac sign and then again like i stated earlier crystal shops simply just going into a crystal shop i'm telling you those people who work in there are more than excited to share with you all the information regarding crystal because why that's what they love to do that's why they work there hello so if you're curious and you're wanting to know go to a crystal shop hit google type in local crystal shop 
local bead house or something like that or or stone shop or something to that effect and i guarantee you, you'll find something if not locally then definitely in close proximity to you i know for me we have two of them here we have one that's further out and then we have one that's downtown and then of course we have like the chain franchise bodhi tree which is in the mall and they carry a lot of the um tumble stones and they carry a lot of the raw ones as well but i prefer to go to my actual other crystal shop near downtown because i just love those guys so much so the three places where you should start is your zodiac sign research 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 and that can be either online or via a book and another form of research is to go into an actual crystal shop and actually just go around see what's available what piques your interest and usually what piques your interest is what you should really be gravitating towards and you should really want to learn more and incorporate into your day-to-day -day life okay guys so enough about where to start i'm going to share with you guys some of the ones that i have i'm just going to briefly just go over them because i have quite a bit of them and then i'm going to share with you just really like the basic ones that everyone's typically starts out with or i recommend that you should start out with if you're new and you're wanting to learn more about crystals and gems and incorporate them into your daily life okay so we'll start with this one here on my wrist this is lapis lazul it's blue gold it has flecks of gold in here and this is pretty much what the egyptians wore so they was already ahead of their time and then you guys know i always 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 wear this necklace i have this necklace on in probably like every single picture every single video that i am in it very rarely comes off my body <laughs> and it's just a training like i told you guys it brings joy abundance prosperity peace and y'all it's just ah, i just love this stone i just I, every time i go to the christmas shop i instantly are like do they have any more citrine <laughs> like I need anymore and I really don't okay so moving on the next one is my selenite wand and y'all know I love selenite I have quite a few of these I have quite a few of these but they're not this big they're probably like only this big and I have them in all the windowsills of our home <laughs> okay so so, so uh, selenite <laughs> helps to bring in like your angelic spirits like your um your angel tribe it helps you with clairvoyance clarity um spiritual clarity mental clarity it also helps with clearing out any kind of negative energies and keeping you protected and grounded and it really does help with helping you connect with the higher realms or the angelic realm so these are one of those ones that you probably want to start off with later because um you have to really understand how they work and a lot of them have multiple purposes but really and truly all of my crystals i use them simply for crystal healing and balancing that's it i'm not doing anything else special so if you guys are wondering how i use them and why i use them it's for crystal healing and keeping my energy centers balanced my seven chakras energy centers back balance Whew tongue tied so yes but i love selling out you guys and the clearer it is the higher the frequency vibration is so i cannot wait so i get one where i can see through it oh if i get one like that it's never leaving my house okay so then another one that i love and i highly recommend for people who are starting out with crystals is rose quartz and i mean who doesn't love rose quartz and the crystal shop where i live here locally has a whole bunch of these and they're like huge and different sizes this was about ten dollars and so rose quartz is naturally source associated or is easily associated with the heart chakra but did you guys know that the heart chakra is actually green and not pink yeah but because everyone understands that the heart is geared towards love and balance and peace you know and unity and just pretty much just being grounded and just having compassion and empathy for others that's why rose quartz is, is perfect for anybody and so you can honestly just place it here in your heart if you would like or you can simply hold it and meditate with it and that's really the easy uses with crystals you don't necessarily have to wear them but in wearing them it helps to keep you balanced even more and it helps to keep your energy vibrations on at a higher frequency as well and it helps to keep you from having any kind of negative attack onto your aura as well so yeah so those are how I really use them so again this is rose quartz and then of course another one of my favorite favorites is amethyst and I have a few amethyst pieces you guys amethyst is good for your third eye it's good for um intuition for psyche um for clairvoyance um 
I'm telling you, it's it's just I just love amethyst, and y'all knows that my amethyst isn't on here because the wire rusted and broke on it. So I gotta get a new wiring done for that piece. But I just love amethyst. I just love how it's just I don't know amethyst and clear quartz were one of those two that I really gravitated towards when I first started experimenting with crystals and gems, and even up until this day, I still gravitate towards them when I go into the crystal shop. Okay, so another piece I have is the Citrine Point. And the little point kind of broke off here. But I've had this piece now for probably like five months. And with Citrine Points, it's a little different than the actual Citrine pieces here like this. Or like an actual tumble piece of Citrine. Well, this is another raw piece of Citrine right here. This isn't a tumble one. My tumble one is actually in the shower. <laughs> but yeah, so this is another raw piece of Citrine. This is actually from um, Brazil. This is where this piece came from. I actually have two of these. And, um, but with having an actual crystal point, it actually, the direction that you have it, so say like I put it in the palm of my hand here, if I put the point going out, that means I'm, um, drawing away the negative energy from me. But if I turn it in, then I'm attracting the positive energy. So if I turn it in, it's coming into the body. So yes, each stone pretty much works about the same but depending on the cut and the way it was formed and everything like that it sometimes the functions on it can be a little different but i love citrine it's just one of those favorite ones that i have and i'm just a color person anyway so anything of color just attracts to me period okay so another one of my favorites is hematite oh my gosh hematite is one of those stones that you need to have if you're starting out the perfect 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 grounding stone and protection stone you hear me if you work somewhere especially in a corporate office setting or just in a close quarters with people who you know pretty much are not of positive light you know or if it's like a stressful environment definitely get you a piece of hematite it really is good in grounding protecting you it really does help to draw off all that negative smog and to keep you protected as well and grounded so definitely definitely get you some hematite they have magnetic hematite bracelets they have rings i cannot find mine unfortunately i don't know where it went i'm gonna get another one and they have necklaces they have anklets i'm telling you hematite is another inexpensive stone that i recommend that you start out with as well Okay, so this is my other piece of Lapis Lazul. This is the first piece that I actually um, got of Lapis Lazul. And then this is my second one. So you can see that the blue is a little bit dark on the bracelet than it is for the actual tumble stone. So this is the actual tumble stone, meaning that they polished and smoothed it down. So that way I'm actually able to carry it with me in my pocket. Whereas this piece here, you will need to keep it in like a cotton silk cloth bag to protect it. So that way it doesn't get chipped and broken. So like, as you guys can see here, the tip broke off okay here's another rose quartz piece this is a tumbled piece as you guys can see here it's kind of smoothed down whereas this piece here is just straight from the rock see the difference so this is one that you can carry and this is one that you like leave at home you know or like do like your crystal meditation you know place it on your body however you would like to put a crystal grid around you or in your home as well Usually the darker stones are good for protecting and then the lighter ones are usually um, the ones that help to attract abundance and light and everything like that and prosperity in the darker ones. So the darker colored stones are actually like the grounding protecting stone. So clear quartz, uh, one of my favorites, favorite, favorite, favorites. You do really and truly, um, you have to cleanse this one. And the clearer the quartz, the higher the frequency, the vibration. Oh my gosh, I follow a young lady named Christina Sutra, and she has this clear quartz piece, and it is the clearest clear quartz piece I have ever seen. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I had a piece like that to carry with me every single damn day high vibrations baby <laughs> okay but i love mine this is my first one actually my own one that i've had and i've had this one now for like two years so this is my baby this is one of my first ones and i just love them and clear quartz just helps to keep your whole energy centers clear it helps for the positive flow of energy to flow about equally to help open up any kind of blockages that you may be having um love peace clarity mental clarity clairvoyance i'm telling you clear quartz is one of those ones that's just like an overall do all for everything you know crystal gem so i just love clear quartz and i recommend you definitely try it out 
can get you one um and again it's going to vary in price depending on where you live so and then my last one that i have here is green adventure ah! okay then and the last one that i have here is my green adventure now I've had this piece for um, about two years now too as well and I love green adventuring you guys because one there are more than just one particular type of green adventuring and they all do something different and I just like this one for really when I'm meditating and a lot of them I use for when I'm meditating in the morning time I just usually have them out by me around me somewhere and sometimes I just place them on my body too as well depending on if I'm trying to work on a certain energy center as well and I love green adventuring this one can again be associated with the heart chakra um and really and truly too the colors of the heart chakra if you just get a stone correlating with that color it could work too um to help a balance in that particular chakra so i wanted to mention that as well but i love green adventuring prosperity abundance wealth um clarity a lot of mine are pretty much the same and i didn't get them intentionally <laughs> like that um it just happened that way over time and I just love this one and this one I really do keep with me a lot because I've seen positive results with carrying my green adventuring with me and with my clear course as well like these two I keep in my purse all the freaking time so if you ever see me with my little purse just know it's probably about three or four stones hanging out in there as well on top of the ones I'm already wearing presently on my body because I just love crystals I've seen the benefits of actually incorporating them into my actual life and using them on a daily basis in either with me um carrying them the tumble version or if i just keep them in a silk cloth a cotton bag or if i just use them at home for when i'm meditating as well so i just i just love my crystals y'all i really do love them so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video discussing crystals and how to use them they're very simple you guys i mean it's nothing fancy smashy about using crystals and gems but you do need to understand um what they are how they work and how to use them because each one is different some are a lot more powerful than others which is so true um some of them can open you up and then some of them can kind of close you down um, a lot of them people use them for healing purposes to heal certain ailments cancers diseases i mean i'm telling you people use them so if you're into that kind of work um or if you're interested in stuff like that you would really need to speak with someone who works in that line of work i don't but i do my own research i've been using crystals now for about the last three years yeah i've been using them for about the last three years i cleanse them with either some sage or palo santos or you can use some spring water not all crystals can actually be submerged in water so that's why i tell you guys to do your research that's very 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 important do your research really and truly before you even start to even go purchase anything i mean you can but really and truly when you learn your zodiac do your research and then you visit a crystal house then you'll be able to really understand how it all works and how it all ties in together because i don't believe that god left these amazing tools here for us to not use them why would they even be able to even be formed and created and to carry such energy and positive vibrations um if they weren't intended to be of use for us humans we are made of earth we are of the earth i mean ash to ashes dust to dust, dust we came from the earth and we will return to the earth y'all wonder why i'm always so bubbly happy a majority of the time it's because i take a lot of um measures to ensure that i'm happy on all levels whether it be my mental my spiritual or my physical health i take it so seriously now like it's not even funny i'm almost to the point where i'm anal about it and i'm not ashamed about it because it's helped me so so much and i've even seen my own personal growth within the last couple of years so queens i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i really tried to break it down as much as possible and really and truly in you know crystals and how to use them but if it's something more specific that you would like for me to discuss regarding crystals let me know down below in the comment section and i will share with you the knowledge that i have learned and attained over these last few years of just doing my own research and actually using them okay you guys so i love each and every one of you guys thank you so 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 much for hanging out with me today again make sure if you have not subscribed to definitely hit that red bell down below and turn on your bell so you can be notified because that's the only way you're going to know when I upload new content here on YouTube. Because YouTube doesn't just tell you. You need to be a part of the notification gang. So go ahead. Hit the notification bell. And I will see you guys in my next upload, Queens. Bye, you guys.